everyone, this is Money Avenger here from Slackers and Crow bringing you the daily challenge for Fluntuck. In fact, today's daily challenge is. Back to it real quick. 9 18 2017. Uh, being that it's a new week, we're switching back over to speedruns! No, I don't think I did the daily Saturday. <laughs> Sorry. Busy weekend, what can I say? Getting the, the seven day server up and running, getting everyone on, or at least getting a couple people on. More people will be joining as it goes along. Right, that's been a blast so far. Uh, as a quick reminder for those who want to do speedruns, a good combo of perks for speedruns is Fiercer Blaster, Way of the Gun, Grit, Soft, Fling Hook, Fast Hook, Fleet Feet. Go in that order again. Fiercer Blaster increases your overall damage with your Blaster Pistol. Way of the Gun increases your damage as well. However, it will drain your HP over time. Grit. When you take uh, damage, you get invulnerability for a couple seconds. Soft decreases the HP and overall toughness of all enemies. Fling Hook uh, increases the range that you can throw your your hook. Fast Hook increases the speed of it. And Fleet Feet, the three-star one especially, is the one that increases your movement speed the most. Of course, Fleet Feet and pretty much any of those perks will stack on top of each other. But, unfortunately, we are limited right here on the number of points we can spend. So, let's get started. We have a Five Skull Barrel Runner, Labyrinth Multi-Branch, Relic Shop, Devil's Lodge. Oh, uh, before anyone asks, yes, I'm actually before coffee. Mm. They don't want to be, but there's no coffee in there. It's brewing. So, in the process of that, I can knock a speed run out while that coffee brews. Oof. Yeah, and now you'll make some breakfast too, or lunch, whatever you want to call it at this point. Ooh, I actually didn't. Whoa, 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 whoa! What am I doing? Funny, funny. You've been doing score runs for a week. Get the score run out of your head. You ain't doing a score run. You're doing a speed run, brother. Speed run. We don't care about that point stuff. Money. That's irrelevant to us. I just want to get people dead. Good room, good room. Yeah. Take a little bit of a shot there. It's okay. I'm going to take another shot there. That's not the room I want to go in. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's the room I want to go in. No, screw that. We're going out of here. Got a room, got a room, got a room. Alright. Not to take all the damage right now. I really am. You know, I really should have grabbed one of those, but I was in such a hurry to get in and get out of there since I saw it was a dead end. I did. down. Could have gone faster if I had remembered. I wasn't doing a score run. But, hey, you know, it's Monday. The most exciting day of the week. It's exciting. Big plans for later on the seven day server. And when I say big plans, I mean um, trying to survive, which is pretty big. You know, trying not to die. That's a good thing. I... <laughs> I played a little bit longer after everyone uh, logged off last night, and I stopped streaming it because I was like, hey, I'm not going to do anything fun, I'm just going to do a little digging. This is the 5 Skull Lamb, Tiptonius Jones, Dipson Salon. 
Well, I did some research today to try to understand why it was happening like it was happening. See, last, um, there's these creatures in the game, for those uh, new to Seven Days to Die, um, they're called Screamers. And they show up and they, when they see you, they scream and they summon a horde of zombies. Because, you know, they're that awesome. Um, and that's okay if you've got one people or you've got one ammo, and I didn't really have either at the time. But the real problem is they kept spawning like crazy, and I was trying to figure out, like, why are they spawning so much? Nice one. I, I nailed that one around the crotch. Jeez, I'm just taking all the hits on the way over. It's a barrel run, so technically this should mostly be a, a flat engagement. So I go up right there, Anna. Yeah. But, uh, anyway, so, yeah. Screamers got spawned in, and I'm like, alright, it's just one Screamer, it, it can, we can deal with it, you know. It'll, it can stay there for a little bit, it's no big deal. Turns out, on the difficulty mode we're playing on, uh, the heat map, which is the what kind of directs the game to summon in different things based on the activities you're doing. Uh, it goes up really, really fast. Like, disgustingly fast. And every time it hits 100% and rolls over, it spawns a screamer in. And I went outside and I was looking around trying to, like, like I didn't want to just leave a whole bunch of screamers chilling around for when someone joined up and logged to the base and had to deal with it, because, you know, that's not fun to clean up someone else's mess. But, um, and I, I just, I didn't have a choice. I was getting overrun by the sheer amounts of zombies that were being summoned in. It was crazy. So I just kind of did the most notable thing, uh, ran like a coward, and logged off. So, you know, so sorry for those joining the server into the nightmare that started. But that's our life at the moment. And that's why I'm excited about it, because I want to get back in, I want to fight the horde, I want to, you know, fix the stuff they're breaking, because trust me, they were breaking stuff like crazy. But, um, yeah, I, I, I do really enjoy that game, and it's really fun to have a persistent, persistent world for a change, because we've done it so many times in the past that we've had a world run off, like, my computer, or Mad Dog's computer, which... You know, you really limit the number of people they can get on, and when they can get on. Because obviously they can only get on when you're running the server. Anytime you're not running the server, no one can get on. So, anytime you log in, nothing's changed, because obviously you were there when they were changing it. See, with the constant world, though, is anytime someone logs in, they can change the world and what's going on around it. You can log in and have less items, you can have more items, you can have more things built, less things built. Or the base could be in ruins because a giant horde attacked, and that was it. Uh, the Skull 7, Tiptonius Jones, Conocopia, Gamblinger. So that's why I like the uh, idea, especially on a survival game, because you never really know what you're going to get into. Uh, if you've seen, obviously, the, the games I play, I play a lot of procedurally generated games. You know, things change as you play them. And so that's like one of the, the things that I kind of get off on, is like, you know, getting into a game and being introduced to a challenge, like, on the spot. Not like, hey, no, this level's gonna be exactly the same every time you show up. Who cares about that? Anyone can do that. I want a challenge that is just new and unique based on the situation I'm in, and then I gotta deal with it. Kinda like this stuff. I mean, some of these tiles do get replaced and reused over and over and over. And that's, that's granted, but most of the time when I get introduced into a challenge like that, I probably have more HP. Maybe I got different perks. Maybe it's a different, like, room set. Maybe I didn't just shove my face in that guy's crotch. Oh, 
Maybe, maybe I had a lot more HP before hitting the boss because that's what we're about to do. About to hit the boss with a little bit of HP. In fact, I'm not entirely sure if we're gonna live at this point. Go team. Oh, I hit that guy, really. Look, I picked it up, I might as well use it. Let me grab this HP here, because I'm not sure if I'm gonna live. Ugh. Not on purpose. I've just been busy with everything else. Sunday I was just too busy to do recordings, period, which is unfortunate, and I apologize. Because I try really hard to keep my daily recordings. At least with the Flint Hook dailies. I mean, sometimes I'll substitute out. Instead of a Flint Hook Daily, I'll do a Dead Cells Daily, maybe I'll do both, but it is Monday, you always want to do Strong Monday, and... And I want to announce something a little bit special for the channel. A little bit special right now. As of this video, this Flint Hook Daily right here. By the way, did 726, not bad for someone getting back in the, the, the swing of things and the speed runs. Room just 445, uh, something... 70 seconds spent 446 minus 223 guys combo 43 damage chain 228 fallen foes 126 uh well, there's a loot collected 701 raise committed three how do we do in the grand scheme of things folks versus everyone else two on score versus jojo cat go jojo cat with that score i'm, I'm not kind of seeing anybody you know hey, a score is a score is a score how did i do on time though that's what i want Oh, number one of time. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going for. Good to see that number one spot again. Uh, I, the, I, the announcement for the channel is this episode, Flinch Hook, for this daily. Um, I don't know what Flinch Hook it is. I'll be honest with you, in my head, I want to say it's like maybe like 139 or 140 in the Flinch Hook episode's done. Uh, this is actually uh, video number 500 for the channel. I didn't see that until when I was uh, editing stuff earlier. I was like, oh my gosh, we're at 499. Uh, the next one that gets uploaded will be number 500. That is so many videos. I mean, considering the uh, channel itself has been up since May 2nd, which I want to say, give or take, is probably about 139 or 140 days old. 500 videos is huge. That's like an average of like 4.5 videos a day, which, you know... Give or take, I know there's like one or two, and not every single one uploaded is a video. There's probably about 15, 20% of those 500 are VODs that are done either from YouTube streaming or uploaded from Twitch streaming from my late night uh, Insomnia streams. But I mean, Insomnia streams are, are just that. Usually they don't even have microphones, so count them as a video if you will. Uh, I upload them because sometimes people like the no commentary aspect, and that's a way I can do it without feeling that I'm, like, not working for you guys. Because late night, I can't talk. People are asleep, and I'm like, you know, it's my way to kind of chill out and relax and play a game uh, in, in, like, Dead Cells, just practice on it because I'm trying to get better. There's something, in fact, today I want to try out. I don't know if it'll work out well, but it'll be my first attempt at it. Um, one of the challenges that has approached me. But, uh, yeah. Enough rambling. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. Thank you for hanging out, and thank you for being there for episode 500. Well, video number 500 on the, the channel. That, that's that's big. This is a Dust Bunny Avenger. I'm signing off. For more news and information, check out the descriptions in the links below. Like what you saw, slap the like button, subscribe, and uh, yeah, if you share the content, because as the small channel visibility is our greatest foe, and our reach only extends as far as your reach. So help us expand the Slackers universe, folks. 
I'm signing off again. Until next time, folks, take care. Bye.